<clears throat> Hoi for achievements to Z. Hello, my gravy Timmies, and welcome back to another wonderfully fun episode of Hearts of Iron 4 Achievements to Z, where today we are going to get an achievement. I'm lying. We might actually get multiple achievements knowing my luck in this game. Now, currently as recording, I have 40 out of 171 achievements so far completed. Uh, now, of course, we got the majority of those uh, in the very first episode because they were easy ones that you just kind of get out of the way. So the rest... We won't be that lucky. But today we are going to give Japan a go. Now the most disappointing thing about Japan, in my opinion, other than Hirohito's double chin, is that Japan just really doesn't have any cool achievements. There's only a couple, and I mean a couple, we can do today, which is as Japan, conquer Mexico, then Europe before 1945, and Tojo shop first, as Japan new core territory of the US before the US develops nuclear weapons. So I won't lie, I am always a little disappointed with Japan and Japan's focus tree, and I do hope they get around to fixing this, as this isn't even the original Japan tree, which is kind of depressing. So, for this achievement, we actually need to take out Mexico before we land in Europe. So, <laughs> I guess we're going for America. And obviously, to get a justification on America, we're going to do it on the Philippines, because it'll only give it 2% world tension justifying on them, compared to the Americans, which would be like 400. Okie dokie, so our justification is ready and we are going to use it uh, immediately and then uh, straight away get our boys landing on Adu, where we're then going to land for this island here, build a port hopefully, and then also land over here once the port's done. That's the plan. I'm going with it. Stage one, complete. Second stage complete and these guys are dying, so we really need that port done quickly. Go, port complete. So that should give us more than enough range now to actually get the port in Alaska and then to the west coast of America, I hope. The bit of force attack magic, both ports in Alaska are now secure, so any troops the Americans have here will eventually just starve to death, which is great. Once we go ahead and secure Alaska, I am going to go ahead and make sure my navy is repaired. As you can see, it got pretty damage hanging out over there, so that needs to be full strength before we land for America, and also I'm building up the port in Alaska too. And since we have downtime, I'm also working on getting that beautiful, wonderful collab government. The Navy's rebuilt enough, but I won't be using it. I'm going to make sure it's still stuck in port, and we're going to attempt our first naval invasion. And we uh, got it! So we've also got the beachhead in America. Immediately going to go ahead and declare war on Mexico as well. There we go. First thing we needed was Mexico, and that means achievement almost complete. Complete. Also, no more America. Uh, I did notice something weird though over here in that communist China joined the Axis and China joined the Allies. Now, I know what you're saying. Don't you need America alive so that you can drop the nuclear bomb on them? Correct, but I'm just going to release them later when I have the nuclear bomb. Okay, so to get land in Europe, we are going to go ahead and take out Spain. I think it's probably going to be the easiest one for us as they're not going to get guaranteed and they're not going to join anyone's faction. All right, I have no idea how the Spanish AI did it but they just took the port tile <laughs> that I'm currently on. All right, well, I'm gonna have to redo the naval invasion. Yeah, it didn't go too well for them the second time around. There you go. Sunrise invasion completed. Now, what the hell I do from here is definitely a question. Okay, so now we just kind of have to wait around until we get ourselves nuclear bombs. But what exactly am I gonna do in the meantime? I could go to war with the allies, but that means going to war with a lot of fronts right now. Although, it is only the UK that's actually war leader over here. They're the only major power. But that also means that Germany, if I did go to war, would probably get a lot of China. And... I don't really like, you know, the whole communist China axis thing. So I think realistically speaking, our only option is to go to war with the axis. Uh, plus, I'm really in the mood to, to bully Italy. So I've already released Spain as a puppet, so we don't have to worry about having a uh, land border with the Germans. I think I'm just going to go naval invade them. I'm also going to have to build my own rubber because uh, everyone hates me. <laughs> well, except Brazil. Brazil quite likes me. Oh, okay, so the Germans have gone to war with the Soviets, which 
means it's probably my time to strike. Uh, nothing personal really. I uh, just need to keep myself entertained until I have developed the nuclear bomb. Operation Ramen on Pizza has commenced. So deal with the Italians very quickly there, which is nice. And uh, we're not going to push just yet. I need to see what the air is actually saying. The air is saying the Germans have no air. You know, I wasn't really going to bother pushing because there ain't no way I'm really going to get anything from this peace conference bar Italy. But, uh, you know, <laughs> when you've got nothing else to do. That's right, everyone. I'm just here to take down the bad guy. I have no ulterior motives of Japan. I'm just a friendly guy. Oh, I just realized Vichy's not even in the war. Why aren't they in the war? What? Why do they have a Manchuko war goal? <laughs> oh, wait. Manchuko probably did their focus where they get, yeah, <laughs> overlord ship over Indochina. Well, sorry, Manchuko. I have beaten you to it. All right. This is a, uh, a very different race to Berlin than we uh, saw in our timeline. Kind of doing my own around the Maginot right now. Just adding that extra bit of Japanese flavor. Yes, the Japanese liberation of Paris. <laughs> well, uh, Vichy decided to join the war right at the end as it was a about to finish. Not exactly the smartest move, I guess. Well, well, I actually have more points than I thought I would have there. Uh, what on earth do I take? I, I mean, I guess that isn't too bad, but I'm really not too sure what just happened down here in Italy. <laughs> so we just directly annex Lombardy. And then I think the British just released Sardinia. It's not even in anyone's faction. It's just <laughs> free into the world. I was really hoping that China might leave the Allies after that one, but it doesn't look like they're going to. Uh, maybe if I do Marco Polo, they might go ahead and, uh you know, do do the United Front, but I kind of doubt it. What the hell? Did Portugal just joined my faction without asking. Is that because of a focus? How, how did they get in? Right, China, nothing happened uh, when I did Marco Polo, so I'm going to try, go ahead and just declare war on Shanzi, see if they join a faction, and from there, I will take my next steps. All right, that's a little anticlimactic. I thought something might happen, but once again, nothing has happened. Oh, there you go. Okay, so they signed the Brussels treaty, which means people will start leaving the Allies now, I believe. At least China's out. Uh, they are guaranteed by the UK, though, but I think we can get around that. Yeah, okay, so China could do the United Front now, so if they make their faction, we can go ahead and get to war with them. Uh, it's not like I need to for anything, but uh, it's just kind of wrong to do a Japan game and not invade China. Oh. Oh, TMI, Greece. Oh, well, they, they just submitted to democratic Germany. It's just like real life. Yes, excellent, excellent. Right, Chinese United Front has formed, which means we can now go to war with them freely whenever we choose. I am building a whole new army for this, by the way, because I am scared that somehow a war's going to kick off and get me involved. So keeping a lot of the forces over in Europe just in case. Okie dokie, China. Let's go ahead and give it a go. Yeah, I actually haven't uh, been able to push down here because of the massive orc wall. And um, it, it's really surprising because if you look at just how much cast damage I'm doing, I don't know how they're still not moving. Uh, I could just open the front and stop uh, endlessly attacking, but I kind of want to see how long this will go on for. Uh, also, yeah, we've got nukes finally, so we can get the achievement with the US, but we're obviously not ready to do that right now. Oh, uh, communist Germany just declared war on the Allies, but they're they're not even in the common turn, which is interesting. I also think they ate the other Germany that was here. Here comes the, uh, the interesting part of this war. Yeah, I, uh... I don't think they'll be coming back from now on. Italian demands for independence. Well, you know what my answer to the Italian demands of independence is? Is you no longer exist, Italy! Um, yeah, that, that, that didn't do too well for you, did it? No, China, I think you may just have too many divisions. Don't ask me why I made them so big, because I have no plausible answer for that question. All right, now, before I go ahead and drop a nuclear bomb on America, I think we need to go have a chat with the Allies. So, considering it's 1946, I imagine the Allies are going to be pretty turbocharged, so this is going to be uh, very interesting, to say the least. Oh, well, 
Never mind. Looks like we're going a different direction. Uh, I guess all my troops are in Europe anyway, so let's make another quick pit stop. Uh, you, know, you know, so it's, I was just going to go to all the allies, so you truly did make this very personal. Uh, especially because I forgot about the whole Soviet Italy thing, and then uh, the Soviets invaded it, took over all of Italy, and then the UK invaded that and took over all of Italy from the Soviets, which means give me my land back. Don't have a collab on the Soviets. At least not yet. So this is probably going to take a lot, 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 lot of time. Uh, yeah, a little bit annoying that the Allies are in this war. Uh, they keep messing up my front lines everywhere. I kind of wish they would just keep fighting down here in the Middle East against the Socialist Republic of Kurdistan. Yeah, I ain't even bothering to fight in Asia. <laughs> There's just no point. They've got bogged down anyway, so I don't think I need to worry. Okay! Oh no. Oh, the Allies have way too many points in this. Why do they have so many points? They did nothing! Um, you know, I think the whole war with the allies uh my i think we're gonna postpone that to uh never you know that actually wasn't that bad other than like a few things that if you really check like the fact poland now exists just stuck over here and i couldn't get it but uh that is kind of cool that we've kind of linked up our uh, european empire with our asian empire nice um but i really don't think i can be bothered to kill the allies now especially because uh i'm assuming probably one or more of their dominions are also <laughs> now also major powers, including France. Oh, uh, although saying that, it looks like uh, France is having a bit of a political reimagining. But whatever, the time has finally come to release America, drop a nuke on them, and be free. There they are! Welcome back to the world, America! A lot has changed. Have you ever enjoyed beating up the Americans so much that you do it twice in one game? Yeah, it's kind of funny, even without uh, the US, my industry is so large, you've really got to become the Japan that the Americans were scared of in the 80s. Yes, this economic bubble will definitely keep growing, overtaking the US and definitely not pop. Right, anyway, without any further ado, let's end this game. As soon as we drop this nuke, we should... There you go. Tojo shot first and they went ahead and joined the Allies, but it doesn't matter. I've done what I needed to do. I mean, I guess we could keep going and fight the Allies, but I'm gonna be real with you. I cannot be bothered. There's too many fronts all over the damn place and it's just not worth it. But, you know, if Paradox was to ever, like, actually go ahead and make some fun achievements for Japan, other than two, that'd be great. Then I'd actually have a reason to go fight the Allies. Yeah, I do really hope they give Japan another look over in the future at some point, because the Japanese tree is, um... A little lacking, to put it lightly. And I know this whole getting every achievement is uh, yeah, a painful meme, but uh, I would actually like some more to do in Japan, please. Thank you very much, Paradox. It's my birthday. It's not actually my birthday, but please. Hey, but if you enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like. Hit the subscribe button down below for more amazing achievement hunting until we get them all. We just added an extra two in this game. If only... There was only two left. But there's not.